it is a pink Barbie car, but don't let the paint job fool you because it's a very powerful car. This is a Honda S2000. Um, they're about 35,000 bucks off the showroom floor, maybe a tad more. 240 horsepower, supercharged. This particular car is the hero car, so it's supercharged. We actually bought it from a private owner. We're going through it, modifying it for the movie. So we got a uh, Vail side body kit we put on it. Roja wheels from American Racing. We got some Apex gauges. We did a Rockford Fosgate sound system, so everything will work in this particular car. A Reactive exhaust, and it came with a Paxton Novi supercharger on the car. Um, and again, all the Vail side componentry we put on the car. Uh, and then after that, it's turned over to the art department. They do the, uh, the graphics on the car uh, and then pick the paint colors. It's all up to the, uh, the art department after that. They told me it's supposed to be me on the side of the door and it's sort of like a Japanese animation character. There's a whole artistic process that goes into the graphic selection of the vehicles. Each one uh, of the vehicles, of course, is assigned to a particular character. So the art department, the, the script people and the production team come together and they decide what really suits that character. This particular car, for example, is going to belong to a female in the, in the movie. So some of the styling influences like Japanese anime characters were carried over into the car. And the color selection and the graphic selection and right down to the accessories we'll select for the movie. The interior is pink. <laughs> it's a very unique car and it, it suits Suki's character to the T. People always look at the color pink as being sort of like a, you know, it's like a sissy color. It's very girly. But in this case, it's, it's really the opposite of that because she can really drive. So this is sort of like a statement. It's sort of like an in-your-face, yeah, I drive a pink car, but I can, I can definitely beat your ass if it comes to driving. The differences between these cars and the cars you've seen on the street is there's a great deal of uh, deference to the artistic flair of the art department, uh, what the director envisions. You've got to make the cars very flashy so that either the average enthusiast or the average audience member can really grasp what they're seeing on the on the film that, that these cars are not your average street cars.